This time, I'm designing a creature that should have been episode 6 on this channel, but I ended up getting bogged down by trying to illustrate it, and spent way too much time working on it. So I'm just going to be working on the design this time around. The idea is basically a colossal African buffalo, water buffalo looking thing that people use as a walking cruise ship or a walking cargo ship. Creatures so big, someone decided to put buildings on them. Here, I'm trying to get a head that I like. The central characteristic was always these horns and maybe this bone plate here in the front. One method of steering might be having ropes or chains on the ends of these horns and pulling them different direction. I'll say these would usually be traveling across the vast, which is a place I showed a little bit in the video with the planes rollers. That huge plane those live on is called the vast, which is basically a huge chunk of desert grassland that people need to get through because there's not much there. This could be one of the ways of getting across, especially if you aren't in a rush or if you have a lot to carry with you. I finally landed on a head that I liked, so I sketched out a body to use as a model for designing the building part of it. Moving on to the buildings, I wasn't sure how I wanted them to be set up. One option would be a saddlebag situation with rooms hanging on either side. Another could be similar to a turtle shell, but I eventually decided they could be all shapes and sizes. There wouldn't really be any reason why they would ever be the same, unless some company had a fleet that they wanted all the same. There are a lot of variations available with this concept. I don't think they have to be uniform by any means. It'll depend on the size of the creature, the owner's budget, the use, etc. For passenger carriers, you could have it just like a cruise ship, where you have a section with cabins, a section with suites, and a section where you have the full floor to yourself. Obviously, there would be some with very expensive tickets that only the elite families could afford, and some would be the standard ones that the general public might be able to afford. Of course, some would be smaller too. Smaller being relative, obviously, because these things are still massive regardless. It all depends on the person or company having one built. They could even be for personal use sometimes. If you're wealthy enough, why not? Maybe there are people that specialize in designing and building these. It would be cool to have a whole industry around these things. Eventually, I came up with one that I really liked, which was having one huge piece going across the back with buildings inside that, but having additional buildings hanging on either side, balancing each other out. So there would be rooms there, rooms in the bigger structure on top, and it might be cool to have walkways underneath, hanging like a net going from one side to the other. At some point, at some point in the future, I'll explore these in more detail, especially introducing specific ones with specific names. Just like we have famous and legendary ships built by famous and legendary engineers and architects. This one might be one of the more unique ones, or it could be one from one of the more prestigious companies. The creatures themselves won't have much variety. Maybe just size and possibly different breeds. We'll see. Up at the base of the neck would be a bridge, and lower down some steering room that the bridge can communicate with to direct the creature somehow. I thought it might be interesting to have the option of raising and lowering the hanging buildings in case they got to some cool tourist attraction and wanted to let the passengers out to explore and shop in the market and such. And there we have it. Compile the sketches into a concept layout for future reference for other projects because these will be fairly prominent in this world, especially the time period I'm exploring right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.